Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel, squeaked through its funnel, and wouldn't come out again. And wouldn't come out until the next episode. The engine's name is Dennis. The engine's name is... Christopher Robin. The engine's name is Henry. His driver and fireman argued with him, but he would not move. Apparently, they forgot that as fully functioning human beings, they could drive Henry out of the tunnel. Or maybe they just couldn't be bothered. Anyway... No, but the rain will spoil my lovely green paints and red stripes. He said. Well, Henry, have you heard of Flex Paste? Right out of the tub, Flex Paste is super thick. And it even works underwater. The guard blew his whistle till he had no more breath, because apparently that was worth a try. But Henry still stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. What a rebel. You really think I'm going to spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes for you? Pull the other one, sweetheart. I'm trying to get a tan here. Then, along came my father, the man in charge of all the engines in Sodor at the time. They called him Donald Trump. What I say is what I say. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. He said, but Henry only blew steam at him. This made Trump very cross. Nobody blows steam at Donald Trump. The passengers agreed to bribe Henry out. They all paid except Donald Trump. Because... My advisor of state has forbidden me to pay. Then the people tried pushing through the other end, because apparently that would have a different outcome. Henry was tempted to reverse back a little bit and kill them all on the spot, but he had a shred of morality left and so decided to refrain. Donald Trump, believe it or not, decided it was time to use his one brain shell to do some good in the world. So, he made the actually not so terrible decision to bring an engine to push Henry out. But, instead of bringing his conveniently large and strong express engine that was just sitting nearby to do the work, he brought the tiny tank engine, station pilot, instead. My father was an intellectual, if you couldn't tell. Yes. The passengers all argued with Henry, but still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. And then, Chummer started trying to push him out of the tunnel. I don't know what he was doing during Henry's minute-long conversation with the passengers. Maybe Trump just wanted to make it look like he had attempted reasoned arguments before force. Anyway, Chummer is useless, so he couldn't get Henry to move either. As Chummer stopped, the area fell silent. There was only one thing left for my father to do. And he articulated this to Henry. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. It's not even, believe it or not, it's not even a difficult thing to do. My father ordered a wall to be built with bricks, mortar, and this funny white powder on the ground that nobody quite knew the origin of. Henry was now trapped in eternal darkness, forced to watch as engines he had talked and laughed with roamed freely past. This generated quite a stir in the government, but my father was a rich man and used his wealth to convince the lawyers that no abuse was afoot on Sodor. They wanted to impeach him, but he looked like a peach anyway, so that wasn't an option. Edgewood and his workmen smiled sadistically at Henry's plight. Gorton laughed as well, and Henry sank lower into clinical depression. Until he realised he just needed childline. He wondered if he would ever be allowed to pull trains again. Spoiler, he is right next episode. But I think he deserved his punishment. Don't you? Uh, not exactly, Mr. Starr. Not exactly.